South Sudanese Vice President Taban Dengai maintains his country is being targeted by the United States and his government wants Sudan's help. It's up to you to help us. You may have noticed that America has not been as strict with you as it was in the past. This is because the world has found a new target, South Sudan, and it's a clear encroachment on our national sovereignty. The U.S. has softened its stance on Dengai's replacement of former Vice President Riek Mashar, a move that was earlier viewed as a breach of the 2015 peace agreement. However, Washington maintains the deployment of an additional 4,000 U.N. peacekeepers to Juba is necessary. Let me be clear again. I said it, I think, in my opening comments. This force is not an intervention force. It is there to protect innocent civilians, to protect people's access to and egress from Juba, and to be able to permit uh, the people working on the issue of peace and its implementation to be able to move around without fear or interference. During his meeting with Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir, Dengai also discussed working together to rebuild South Sudan's petroleum industry. As you know, South Sudan has a lot of resources which have yet to be tapped, and we need help from the Sudanese government to take advantage of these resources. For example, petroleum, which is restricted to one area of the country. We would like Sudan's assistance to resume work on these fields, which will help both our economies. This visit is widely regarded as a step towards ending the long-standing tensions between the two countries. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.